Well, hi, uh, Christ believers uh, and unbelievers. Uh, let's say uh, to whom it may concern. Me too, I want to tell you about an unforgettable dream I had a couple of years ago as I was uh, you know, maybe one or two years before I got saved. I would say 2009 or 2010. And I got saved in uh, September 2011. Well, this is what I remember, and I will never forget. <laughs> I remember I seemed to be on a field uh, with grass, and the weather was, you know, let's say late in the afternoon, but it was not uh, dark. I mean, the sky wasn't dark, but still I could see... I could see the stars already and I was amazed. I was like, eh. usually we see the stars at night. And I remember um, me, I, I'm a kind of person, I love to look at the stars at night. So when I saw that, I was amazed. I was like, wow, oh, that's strange. Um, and there were a lot of stars in the sky. Um, but there was that one particular star which was brighter than the other stars and I was looking around me and I was like there's nobody on the field it's just me and I was looking at this star and it was so bright and as I was observing it was coming closer and closer and getting bigger and bigger you know, and I, I was like, that's not possible. It's coming toward me. And the star was really advancing toward me. And it was getting bigger and bigger to the point where it was like a huge ball, but not big, but not, not bigger than I was. It was still, you know, like two arms away from me, but big. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? And I, I could move. I could, I could, you know, go left, right. I could just run away, but I was, I was like stuck. I was like stunned. I was like comp compelled to, to look at this star. And this star just, you know, it was coming toward me, and I just fell down on the floor flat. And it came right in my belly and cut my belly in two pieces, and I woke up. And I was like, wow. That was a strange dream. And I had no idea about Jesus at that time. Well, I heard about him and I would, you know, celebrate Christmas with my children, but not really knowing about him. For me, I knew that he proclaimed to be God, but for me, I was like, I believe him because who can say I'm God if he's not God? I mean, I believe that. But then I thought, well, he did. I had no idea about the resurrection and all the stories of God. I had no idea. So I kept this dream, you know, with myself. I thought that if I, I tell it to somebody, they're going to tell me, you know, you know, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm, 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 I'm a freaky, you know, so I, I, I couldn't talk about it. But then uh, in 2011, in September, I lost uh, hope. I, I really, really, really lost hope. Apparently, I, I had everything I needed. I had my children. I had, I had a car, I had money, you know, I, apparently I was, you know, doing all right, but in myself, in me, inside, I was completely empty and hopeless. And I remember at that time that was in America, in um, Los Angeles, I was living by, um, in a very good area at that time in Beverly Hills. And um, one day I decided to, to just finish. You know, I, I, I just decided that I didn't want to live no more. I didn't understand the world. I didn't understand, you know, I thought I was going to do a favor to my family if I'm just gone. I mean, I was, I, I lost it. I lost hope. It's possible. I experienced that. And well, 
I tried to commit suicide in a very, 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 very uh, bad way. I, uh, I cut my, my belly and I took uh, sleeping pills, so many tablets that I should have never woke up. And I mixed it with all the substances. I mean, that was, I just wanted to die and I died. And uh, what happened next is that I got saved. And the Lord, uh, he, he reminded me about that dream. He told me that he knew the way uh, I was going to take. He knew that I was going to commit suicide. So he, he gave me a sign and I didn't see it. And the Lord told me that this is the way I got saved. This is how he entered. Um, he, he entered through my belly to come sit in my heart, you know. I woke up um, from the attempt suicide with uh, such a peace and uh, that was so beautiful because I had so many questions and the Lord answered all these questions and he promised me that he will make sure that I never do that again. If I lose hope, because sometimes I still feel like that, if I lose hope all I have to do is to think about him, to pray, to call his name. And um, after my salvation, I had a, another um, experience, but that was not a dream. That was not a vision. That was real. Like, uh, and this one I'm going to tell you in another video because yeah, it's, uh, it's long to explain. <laughs> uh, but this, this is what I wanted to tell you. That was my dream. And this dream I will never forget. <laughs> I will never forget. And I know that was from God because he reveals that to me afterward. <laughs> In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. <laughs> and, you know, he's been doing that for a while. I mean, for, you know, since the beginning of the of the Bible, like by Abraham, Abraham, uh, he had vision and Solomon, he had dreams. Uh, Jacob had also visions in the book of Genesis. You can read them. Uh, Joseph and Mary, the parents of Jesus, they had dreams. I mean, even in the New Testament, St. Paul, he had vision. And remember also Pharaoh's dream and prophet Daniel, the, 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 the talent he had to interpret dreams and visions. You know, that's common somehow, <laughs> you know, from God uh, to communicate through dreams and visions. <laughs> All right, Jules, that's my unforgettable dream. <laughs> I just wanted to share it. <laughs> it helps somebody out there. Okay. Amen. God bless. Bye-bye.